Here is how to create pandas data frame using Python's plain dictionary. So let's take an example here. What I'll do is I'll import pandas as pd. And let's take a dictionary. I'm going to call it as data columns. And I'll initialize with curly braces. Initially, what I'll do is I'll take a name as a key and we will pass values as an array. Okay, uh, let's do John, Dave, Alice. Okay, and I'm going to pick a second column as age. Let's pass ages. So 28, 30, and 21. Okay, let's take another column and let's call this a city. We'll pass New York, Los Angeles, and let's do London. Okay. All right, now that we have this data columns dictionary ready, what we can do is we can initialize DF as a data frame and we'll do PD and off of which we'll call a data frame and off of which we will call this method called from dict function. Okay, and here uh, we can just do data columns. Okay, and we could specify orientation. So we could do orient and we can pass columns. Okay, and now we can print this. And here we can see we have our data frame ready. Okay, and there is another way which you can create this uh, pandas, uh, you know, data frame. And now let's do a uh, new columns, columns two. And I'm going to initialize again a dictionary and let's call this row one. And we can pass another dictionary here, colon. And we can do name, name and value will, will be Alice, age, and city will be like let's say london okay and we will separate them with comma and let's do row two let's do name let's pass dave age age will be 25 city new york i'm just gonna pass two uh, columns and let's close that and what we can do is we can do df again and we, we can call pd off of which this data frame class off of which we will call from dict method and we will pass this data columns here and let's pass orient again and that would be let's let's call this as index and i'm going to print this df okay so let's run this and here we can see we got the output row one alice 35 london row two Dave 25 New York. Okay, so that's how you create Pandas data frame using Python's dictionary. If you want to see more, please subscribe.